Hey Garage Squad, my name is Robert Schiller and uh, I've got a project that I've been working on for a well one year now. So the car showed up on my son's 15th birthday. This was supposed to be a car that we kind of worked on together and um, would turn around and be able to be his, his car when he turned 16. Unfortunately, yesterday was his 16th birthday. Um, and unfortunately, he's sitting in quarantine right now due to the pandemic. So I've been working on this car for about a year, um, actually one year ago yesterday. And this is my car. It's a 1983 Porsche 944. Um, the reason I picked this car is, one, I, I like the body lines of it. Two, I like the fact that it's equal weight distribution, uh, 51 in front and 49 in the back. And I, my dad had a, a 914, and I learned how to drive a stick on a 914. So I just kind of think that every kid should have some sort of Porsche to drive. Um, I bought it for $750. It had been sitting in a field for at least six or seven years as far as uh, I, I know. So I've been working on it over the over the course of the last year and it seems like every time I turn around and I do something, something else goes. Um, so I just kind of want to show you and go through what I've gone through. So when I first got the car, the car wouldn't start um, and it ended up being the speed and reference sensors. YouTube was a great asset to me. There's lots of videos and everything out on YouTube for the car. Um, but basically, uh, speed and reference sensors got switched. So I went ahead and I was able to get the car turned over and the engine to start. Then everything started to kind of snowball from there. Started having problems with the cam, started having problems with oil leaks. Um, come to find out that there's rust. Um, I replaced the fuel lines and... As you can see, I had ripped out the interior. So the reason the interior is ripped out, just so you know, one of the common problems on these earlier cars is the battery tray. And inside there, you can see that it's rusted out. So the design of the car is the water comes down off the windshield, goes into the battery tray. Well, if people don't take care of their battery tray and make sure that everything is cleaned out, it runs over the battery acid and it leaks in. So, seven, eight years of water coming down here, and that hole goes right into the inside of the car. So when I got it, it was completely soaked inside. It smelled horrible. It was absolutely awful. Um, I've done a lot of work to this car. I spent a lot of time and a lot of money, um, but unfortunately, in August my mother passed away, so things kind of got put on hold for a little bit. Um, so that's taken a little bit longer as well. Uh, my son's lost a little bit of interest in working on the car because it's just taking so long, and uh, he's kind of lost lost interest in in working on it. I just want to get the car finished. I want to be able to get it on the road. I want to be able to get driving. Um, and actually, if you want, you can visit my YouTube channel. Um, there's no commercials. There's I'm not getting paid for it. I have basically have 40-something episodes of everything I have gone through over the last year with this car. And I would just like some help trying to get over this last hurdle and see if I can actually get it on the road and and get it driving and and have a car that's going to be fun to drive and and that he can you know almost drive as a as a daily driver there's enough of these cars and i've seen them out on the road and i've heard the stories a lot of people do drive them as daily drivers um, i'm not looking for a show car you know this was not supposed to be that this was supposed to be something to have fun with and i am just looking to get a little bit of help and see if I can get this finished up um, so we can have a fun family car to drive. So I appreciate the time. Thank you.